Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we will learn about how to interface a keypad with the PIC16F 877A microcontroller. The compiler we are using is the Micro C PIC Pro. Often leak, you can also call it as the Micro C compiler. It is a bit different than high tech CR MP lab. So let's get started. First of all, we need to take our pick 16F877A. So this is our microcontroller. We need to take it out. Okay, now you can see that there is one pin that is called as the MClearR Master Clear, also called as the VPP. So you must have to give the logic one on it because it is active high. So we will take our 5 volt DC supply and connect it with the M clear or master clear. So it is, it must be at 5 volts. After it, we need to take our LCD display because we want, because we want to see our because we want to see all of our keys on the LCD okay it's like that okay now you need to connect D7 pin of the LCD with the B7 pin of the uh, PIC16 F877A and D6 with the B6 D5 with the B5 and D4 with the B4. Okay, now there is one pin that is called as the enable. You must have to connect it with the RB0 pin. And RS pin with the B1 pin of the microcontroller. Then there are some other pins like uh, VSS. So VSS must be connected with the ground. So we need to take ground, one ground, and connect it with the VSS. Sorry. Okay, it must be like this. Read write also needs to be connected with the ground. So we can we can take one ground and connect the uh, RW with this ground. Okay. Now we can see that two pins remaining one is called as the VDD and one is called as the VWE. So VWE must be connected with the potentiometer. Any potentiometer like a 1K or 2K or, or any other okay up to 5K so it's better. Also there are some more lines so we have to use some take. So for it we will use our labels okay so this is label and this is also a label and this is also a also a label okay so so we can use these labels uh, also don't need of these two labels here just one level is enough we can connect the rest of the pins with the power and the ground because potentiometer is a power divider so we need to Yeah, it's a ground, so we like this. Okay, so okay, we we can call it as V double E. Okay, and one more label with this V double E. So we can take one more label that is this one, and we can call it as V double E. So both V double E and V double E must be considered as connected with each other okay again one more thing and that is the vdg take and v uh, this must be called as v double d okay and okay now we also need to connect this v double d take with the power this is our vccr power sign so you can connect it like that 
okay also we can shift them a bit side like this okay now we will take our keypad keypad must be three cross four G. although we can use like four cross four but here we are using just the three cross three okay now we we, we, we need to give them takes because we can't afford too much lines connecting lines so we can call it as one this is two and this one is three and this one is a b c and so okay now we we will take some more some more takes like uh, rotate uh, clockwise and we will copy it out copy to clipboard and paste from clipboard as yes. okay and then paste from clipboard then paste from clipboard then paste from clipboard c0 must be connected with it c1 must be with it c2 with it and c3 with it and c4 with it okay sorry so okay now and c5 with that okay now we will connect c0 with pin number one so right one and there are two and there there are three and there a and there b and there c and one more and that is for the d okay now we need to connect it with c6 okay so this one with d also we need three pull down our resistors so we can take 10k or any other resistors okay we we can rotate them out and like uh, copy to clipboard and paste from clipboard like this and this okay and and their lower end must be connected with each other and then and then to the ground common ground okay okay then one two three so so they also need to be connected with one two three pins so we will use our takes like this one so so we can rotate clockwise like this and copy to clipboard and paste from clipboard after it we need to write here as one because it is connected with pin number one this with two and this with three so now pin one two and three are connected with these pull down resistors okay now our circuit is completed we will just check here that there is five volt or not and it's okay now we need to move towards our micro c code okay so i have written the simple code uh, how you can do it you can go to file new new project here you need to write next and here you can write pick 16f 877a okay, so keep header 001 is our name of the project okay so yes you can also write any other name okay uh, like any of your own choice so okay now it's finished now i will write here my own code okay okay write it's uh, okay now uh, i have written my own code here now 
okay now we need to go to library manager we will we will tick on some of the libraries like lcd and keypad okay and also the conversions okay so these three libraries now we need to run it and save it so yes oh it is saying main identifier okay wait uh, because we have this one so we need to delete it out so now we will run it now you need to write this code at your own like uh, maybe take like about five to ten minutes to write this code down it's a very simple code you can see it at your own like uh, our key paid is connected with the port c and uh, LCD is connected with the port number B. So this is initialization, then white man, then some of the commands like uh, keypad initialization, LCD initialization, and LCD clear and cursor off. Then do while group is there, and it will take the keypad uh, keypad activities like event. Okay, keypad key press event. So you can write it at your own so it will take like five minutes or ten minutes okay so you can learn it as well by google it so okay so this is your code okay now we need to go to compile it and then click on this and then on this and then we write save and clear okay on desktop now uh, we will go to our big microcontroller we will go to here and to desktop and here there is hex file so this hex file is now burnt okay now we will write four five Okay, ISO is not working. We double E and this one, wait. Again, I will run it. Okay, wait. Yeah, there is, there may be one, one problem that uh, we have to uh, short all these out. And we also need to connect them with the ground. So, so we can connect them with this ground okay so now we run it okay right vdd okay we can remove this tag out like this and we can connect this with this uh, it's a uh, five volts Okay, so okay, wait. Uh, it's, uh, white is behaving like this. Okay, we can directly connect uh, this five volt with this VDD. Okay, no problem at all. So, so it's uh, not a problem. So, so like this, we can connect it. Okay, it's a D7 with B7 and E with B0 and read write with ground RS with B1. So VSS ground and VDD with 5. Although the connections are okay, the connections are perfectly fine still. We also need to see that either these takes are connected, yes, these are connected. What about these? Yeah, these also are connected. These one connected, and these one. Okay, we will also. Yeah, these are also connected. So, okay. Wait uh, again. I will see some bit about code that either it is B1. Okay, RS at B1 and enable at B0. Again, we will check RS at B1 and enable it b0 okay so right 
then we need to add port C key page at port C so yeah master clear to 5 volt that's yeah, uh, also right okay so so now again i i will try to run it it must need to work so wait okay yeah there is one like uh, problem that uh, the pin a must be connected with the c4 okay we we are we we have connected with the it with the c3 but actually it needs to be connected with the c4 so there is one problem so so you must have to connect this a with the c4 so we can run it uh, we can run our project and we can see that uh, okay wait we can run our project we can write here like uh, seven and then again we can run it we can see that our key yeah five and Okay. Although it's just taking the key for one one time, but there is one uh, minute problem that this a must be connected with c4 previously we have connected it with the c3 so you need to rectify it okay the rest of the project is okay so we will run it okay now we can write 4 5 8 9 and any other pen of our own choice so it is getting an displaying the key so hopefully you got this concept so thanks for visiting our channel